Special week for our aged loved ones and folks who care for them. It is called National Nursing Home Week, and an important part of that care is good nutrition. Joining us now, our partner from Siena Healthcare. They, we've got the corporate chef Edward Bailey and corporate dietitian Michael Courtney, along with Aaron uh, Puzan. Yep, so I got it right. That's good. Executive chef at Autumn Wood of Deckerville. It's good to see you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Thank you. Us. I didn't know that this was such a thing. This National Week. So we're talking about nursing care and caring for loved ones. In, in a home, but yet we all still have these challenges of trying to get our family members to cook well Correct. and eat well, right? Correct. No matter where they are. Yep. Yep. And, uh, you know, every nursing home week starts uh, Mother's Day. Okay. Mother's Day starts nursing week and then we celebrate it the whole week. Yeah. Uh, a lot of our buildings do different events, celebrate our families, our residents, uh, our staff. Yeah. Um, and what, what it comes down to is, is the healthiest way to cook is with scratch cooking and using fresh vegetables, using fresh. Uh, Meats. Um, what are you going to see today? We're doing a uh, fresh salmon with a uh, asparagus and, and wild rice. So and the, the encouragement is that we can get our, our seniors in our households to think of keeping things simple. Exactly. Right? Yep. So exactly. that's included with the scratch. Idea. Yep. Very simple recipe. It's something yeah. that's actually on our menus or in our facilities. So mm -hmm. what we're actually preparing is something that our residents get. Yeah. Um, and nutrition is really important. I mean, we hear about this all the time. We see all kinds of things that people are now selling, shakes and supplements and all that. Right. But if you're eating healthy, that's, that's, the next that's, that's a, a good step in the right direction, yep. right? Yep. A lot of the, uh, back in the day, the old nursing home would be, you know, you were put on a diet. Yeah. And that's kind of what you got. You didn't really have any choices of what you were going to eat. Um, but obviously, over the years, um, a lot of things that we do, we have selective menus. Okay. Um, we have 24-hour uh, menus available for our residents, so if they, you know, eat, want to eat later at night, they can order something off of a menu. We do happy hour, so it's just so a just like a cruise that doesn't move if you really want it to be, right? I mean, I'm Basically. hearing the word chef attached to correct. Nursing and that's homes something a lot. that's yeah, that's something pretty new in, in the industry. Is uh, you know, we just start when I started four or five years ago or so, we had one chef. Yeah. Now we're up to about thirteen. About thirteen or four. Is that right? So we're uh, wow. And it all comes down to you know using the fresh fresh ingredients and and uh, something else we have unique is a uh, culinary training kitchen okay uh, where we train all of our cooks uh, our corporate chef chef ed is the uh kind of runs the kitchen and so chef ed you've seen these changes right before your eyes right yeah um it's something that uh, you know in today's uh type of nursing um facilities you know we're catering to a whole different audience than they were 20 years ago um, yeah. So there's a lot of people our age there, maybe getting some rehab down to a knee or something like that. So we had to step our game up a little bit with our, our, uh, our food and make sure that we are um, uh, doing the right thing and giving people nutritious, fresh meals. And talk about the training. The training, uh, you know, the training varies from you know basic sauce making, uh, knowing what a protein is, uh, weights and measurements, uh, mm -hmm. the difference between braising, sautéing, all kind of different cooking techniques uh, that, that, that we practice uh, at the training center. Uh, we had about 167 cooks throughout the company. We have 37 uh, locations, so uh, 36 locations. I'm sorry, but we had about 167 cooks uh, trained in uh, 2016. Beautiful stuff. So, chef, are you making? Is that what we're seeing up? Yes, here? sir. We're doing a yep. pan-seared salmon. It's been seasoned nice, nicely with salt and pepper. We got some sautéed asparagus going right here. Yeah. And we got a nice bed of wild rice that we're going to be plating it all together with. And that just brings in all the natural facts. I mean, we have a nice fresh raw salmon. We have fresh, fresh from the field asparagus. Yeah. As you can see from the spread we got here, we like to bring a lot of color, a lot of height, a lot of build. It's all attractive. It makes our residents happy. They come in, they get to see a well-plated meal. It's not just separated. It's not just blank food, but it's got a lot of color, personality. Sure. It gives them something to look forward to every day when they come down and join me. Sure does. And it, it makes it attractive for you all know, the rest. It's all a show. Any way you look at it, we're in a show. Well, yeah, yeah right. Well, good stuff, guys. I really appreciate you coming down. This, this, this right here. So we're looking at. Would this be a standard kind of a thing? This is what find? I do for my residents. Really? Whenever we have a special occasion, uh, just this Mother's Day, we had a nice Mother's Day celebration on Friday. I put out a beautiful fruit carving and vegetable spreads. Yeah. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, we did some empanadas and some nice, you know, you. queso sauces. And so, what else should folks be thinking about for their loved ones? Maybe it's for themselves. Maybe it's for mom and dad when it comes to nursing care. Um, when, you know, when looking for nursing homes, there's obviously a lot of lot of things that go into it. You know, location, so you can visit your family quite yeah. often. Yeah. Um, but one of the biggest factors is food. Um, and you go in, you, you know, do a tour of the facility, um, go into the dining room, see what kinds of, you know, what kind of meals are being served. Sure. Um, yeah. You know, so it's, it's, you know, you can see a lot of the changes. So you know, visits are important. Yep, yeah. visits are very important. And uh, beautiful.
you know, well, guys, food thank quality you. is always is always important when looking. So, well, you've thank you, Chuck. You've impressed us for sure. Good to see you all. You uh, much, for more information uh, for the Siena Healthcare System, you can uh, see what they provide, including long-term care, short-term rehab. You heard that idea. You know, a lot of people just get their knee fixed and they need a place to go. And what a cool idea this would be. Visit their website, SiennaHealthcare.com. That is SiennaHealthcare.com. We'll post all the recipes that we've been talking about and more on our Live in the D page at ClickOnDetroit.com. Thanks, guys. Jason?